Hello, it's Nick, Nick Holt. I've just stumbled on something else. Again, it's not worth a great deal. It's, I put an estimate of two to three hundred pounds. The lot number is lot 329, 329. Um, it's not a gun. It's what they call um, uh, a collection of three, three Bogardus balls. Bogardus, Captain Bogardus, amazing man. He he started in 1850. Um, uh, creating um, uh, a new clay, a new clay, and it was done in a glass ball, and the glass ball was uh, filled with feathers. So when uh, you had the Bogardus trap, which f threw the glass ball into the air, the gentlemen with their guns, um, when they shot it, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, um, it went poof with all the feathers inside. Um, and it was a good concept and it worked. And so you do sometimes come across, um, majority of them, there are not that many out there, obviously because they were smashed and they were shot. But here's one um, uh, which is kind of blue color and would have been filled with goose feathers and, and is retailed by Greener. It's got Greener's address on it. And there it is. And then um, you've got a different colour, um, uh, one there, and that actually says Bogardus on it, Bogardus. And then you've got another one there, and that's got Captain Bogardus holding his gun. Um, um, they obviously survived being shot, um, and obviously they were missed. Um, now. The three, they're about a, they're about hundred pounds each, so they're not hugely expensive. And we've put the estimate of two to three hundred. You read the stories about Captain Bogardos, um, to win, to win the, the his hit, to become the, the you know the, the great clay shot with the glass balls. Um, he 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 bled. He 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 just kept going. He was a remarkable man, but you should read about him. Uh, Bogardus is spelt B-O-G-A-R-D-U-S, Bogardus. Um, you're looking, the, the glass balls here, the three of them, they were painted in about 1877, so around that date. Um, the auction, of course, takes place on the 10th, 10th of July, which is coming up. Just a bit of fun, but a little bit of our history. A little bit of our clay history, our clay shooting. Thank you so much for listening and all the best. Bye-bye.